Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com. Whether you've been pulling your camper for a long time or you're new to hauling a camper, you're probably gonna run into the issue of needing some extra storage, especially for some of those larger items like a generator or even a cooler. You know, when it comes to like a fifth wheel like this, we don't have a lot of room in the back of our truck for some of those things. We definitely don't wanna throw that generator in the camper. Some of that stuff doesn't fit in the basement doors. So Mountain Lot came up with a really good solution and that's the Ginny Go. What separates the Ginny Go from a standard cargo carrier is the support arms underneath. So whether you have the standard like we have here that just has the two arms or the heavy duty with the four arms, it's gonna do a really good job of giving you a solid foundation to carry that weight. It attaches to our bumper uh, with these arms that go around it and then a bolt drops down and secures that in place. You can see that is really nice and tight as opposed to the play you would get in a standard hitch receiver where you'd have just an old traditional cargo carrier hooked up to the back. So this is gonna come in a couple different configurations, whatever it's best to fit your needs. This side right here, I have the standard steel with the black powder coat. And on this side, I have the heavy duty aluminum. So both are gonna be great options and each finish is gonna have a standard duty with the two arms and a heavy duty with the four arms. Now the difference in weight capacities, the standard steel construction is gonna give you a maximum capacity of 200 pounds. If we went up to the heavy duty option with the four arms, that's gonna increase our capacity to 400 pounds. Now when it comes to the aluminum, the two-armed standard version of the aluminum has a weight capacity of 125 pounds and the heavy duty like we have here with our generator on here is going to give us a maximum capacity of 250 pounds. Now there is a couple things to keep in mind when it comes to that weight capacity and that's the how you have it mounted onto the bumper. There's a couple different lengths that you can do with this. You can extend it out, you can have it in the standard version right here or you can make it even more compact to increase that weight capacity. Now, when it comes to the capacity, it can be a little confusing. So pound feet don't equal pounds. And you'll see a lot of pound foot references in the directions for this. And basically what that means is the further you get out, the less this can carry due to the leverage. The closer you get this tray back in or where your weight is centered, the more you can carry. So if you measure 12 inches, which is the standard measurement for this setup, 12 inches from the bumper, that's not gonna be right in the center of this tray with the way I have it configured right now. It's going to hit right about here. So this 12 inches is where if I have my load centered right there, that's going to be 200 pounds capacity. If I brought it out a little bit more, we'll say I had my load centered three inches out past that, I'm gonna use this generator as an example. This is the e-trailer 3200 watt generator. It's got a dry weight of 90 pounds. So if I had 90 pounds, 15 inches centered out, you are gonna multiply that by 1.25, which is going to be 112 and a half pounds. That's well below our capacity, but that's just an example of the further you get out from that 12 inches, the higher your item seems to weigh to this carrier. So I would not put 200 pounds all the way out here. If you have something that's close to 200 pounds, you want to bring that carrier in as far as it will go with the mounting locations. So with the possibility of carrying up to 400 pounds with the heavy duty steel version, that's a lot of weight, but some people need to carry more than that. You know, let's say we needed more than just this generator to carry. This generator is a good size for this camper but if we needed to carry another one or three or a cooler and we needed to max out some capacity well what's great about these is you can work these together so we have two here separated if i didn't have this modified plate here this bumper has been heavily modified aftermarket to add some more strength to it but you could take these all the way across and as long as you had a 96 inch bumper, you could put up to four of these. So if that plate wasn't there, I could easily put three of these together. And this is what the extended version looks like. It's the same position as the standard, except for we flip this back plate over, kind of like we do on the side whenever we want to extend these out and combine two of them together. So that's a lot of weight that you're potentially adding to the back if you're putting multiple trays on there. Please check with your manufacturer of your RV 
or your camper of what your bumper can hold. If you're worried about that, because you're putting several hundred pounds back there, you can pick up Mountain Lock safety struts. That's going to attach to the frame and it's gonna wrap around your bumper and it's just gonna strengthen your bumper up to 400 pounds. That's not gonna add additional weight to your trays that it can carry, but it's definitely gonna support that bumper to hold the weight you're putting on those trays. Another thing to keep in mind is if you have a bumper that's messed up, we see them all the time. Those things are just barely welded on. I feel like, you know, they're really just intended to hold your sewer hoses. So sometimes they're kind of bent up. If you think it has any kind of damage, please don't put this amount of weight on the back of it. Mountain Lock sells a really nice bumper replacement kit. It's gonna be all aluminum. It's 96 inches wide. So it's gonna really give you the possibility to get a lot of these trays on here, but it's also gonna have a capacity of 500 pounds. So not only is it strong, uh, but it's lightweight. It's not gonna have any welding. You will have to drill it into the frame. It's gonna take some effort, but you're only doing it once and it's gonna give you that higher capacity to that factory bumper that's probably not gonna withstand that amount of weight that you're putting on there. Now we can give you some interior dimensions to see if this is gonna work out with whatever you're looking to carry. It's going to have 24 inches by 24 inches of space and it's gonna be two and a quarter inches deep from the highest point. So we have a pretty decent sized generator over here and it's carrying it just fine. We tried to put the largest one that we offer. It didn't fit on there proper. I think if we added the second tray next to it, it probably would have been fine. But another thing that people like to carry back here are coolers. You can see this one fits in there pretty good. Not getting a second one in there, but if you're carrying those really heavy roto molded coolers, especially the really big long ones, I would definitely get a second tray to put that on there so it fits a little bit better. Another important thing is tying down your load. When you have that much weight back there, it definitely needs to be secured down. And I like that this has all of these different attachment points. So I can fit a regular ratchet strap. These are the e-trailer ratchet straps. I really like this set because of that keeper. But those fit in there nice. And I like that they're all the way across so I can get a nice straight pull, get a nice secured load. And another thing with all of these different holes down here on the bottom and all of the mounting holes down low is that's gonna allow water to kind of drain out as it collects whenever it's raining. So that way it's gonna hold up even better. You know, the aluminum's gonna be fine holding up against that water, but the steel over time, if you scratched it, I think it's nice that it drains down so you don't have to worry about water pooling up and potentially rusting and corroding on your carrier. So with all of those different configurations when it comes to the weight capacities, one thing that I think is kind of a nice option is the hybrid style. So the hybrid style is gonna come with a standard and heavy duty option. And what that is, is it's the steel frame with the aluminum tray. So it's gonna have the same capacity as the just full steel kit. So the two is gonna be 200 pounds. The forearm is gonna be 400 pounds. But what's nice about it is you get the heavy duty weight capacity from the arms, but then you get a little bit weight saved with the aluminum tray. So that's really important. You know, if you're looking to save some weight on a smaller camper, like a teardrop or a pop-up overall, I think this is an excellent way to get some heavy stuff at the back of your camper. Uh, you know, this guy that owns this camper, he wants to carry a generator with him. Sometimes he goes out and he can't get hooked up to the campsites electric and he doesn't want to store this in the camper. He doesn't have room in his truck bed. So this is an excellent way to get it to the campsite. Um, it's secure. It can hold a lot of weight. I think that I like the configurations that you can do. I mean, we see some photos online. People have all kinds of stuff they're carrying back here, but I think it's just nice that it can adapt to different things. You know, you can put them spread out like this. You can bring them out if you need to clear a ladder or a spare tire, but you can also take it in a little bit closer if you're looking to carry some more weight. But overall, if you're looking to get some heavier or larger items at the back of your camper, I think this is an excellent solution for you.